What is up, you damn gorgeous and beautiful, beautiful gamers? Do welcome back. For all playing games, here's Mirel Corner in the internet where we like to discuss about RPGs, mainly. Video games in general, but mostly RPGs. Today's video, we're going to be discussing about how the overpowered uh, quality builds will be on Elden Ring. I'm going to be using Dark Souls 3 as a base. But we will also be discussing how they change the stats in Elden Ring and how will they affect the playstyle, how will they affect essentially uh, your overall resources. But let us start at the bottom. Let's go through the stats for a quality build. What is a quality build? A quality build essentially means that your base weapon scales the damage based on strength and dexterity. Those are your main damage scaling skills, or uh, I'm sorry, attributes. If we go to my main character sheet in here, you will see that I am... Um, one very little thing important to have in mind is that when you make a build, if you're planning to, to play PvP, ideally you want to be as low level as possible, because the more points that you start to allocate uh, into your character, you're going to end up running against higher level characters that don't necessarily have a specific build but they are good at everything because they can just place points and points and points on and on and on. So essentially, ideally, uh, the normal consensus for PvP builds, uh, this is like what I like to go, uh, this works perfectly for PvE, both PvE and PvP, but the normal consensus would be 90 to 120. That is the normal normal consensus to, to be as efficient as possible with your build and still uh, perform quite exceedingly good at PvP. Now, through my stats, the stats that I normally like to go with is 40 on Vigor, uh, 30 on Endurance, 20 Vitality, we'll talk about that a little bit later when we speak about Strength and Elden Ring, 42 on Strength and 42 uh, on Dexterity. I would very much like to have higher points and strength and dexterity to increase my higher damage output, but since we want to be soul level 120, this is how the character it's going to look like. Now, there's going to be a little variations when we speak about Elden Ring builds, quality builds. First and foremost, you want to place uh, quality ashes of war on your weapons. The weapon that I have right here for this build is the Refined Red Halberd, because it's a quality weapon. As you can see, it scales uh, of strength and dexterity, and my main shield is the Stone Palma. As you can see here, I placed a little points into Vitality to be able to properly use my armor, my halberd, my shield, all of, all of the stuff that I have for this build to be on 69 0.5% of weight ratio, which is going to allow me to fast roll uh, and pretty much, yeah, be efficient wh wh while rolling. Now, what are the variations that are going to be present on Elden Ring? Elden Ring is going to affect a little bit more strength and dexterity. We will also be talking about pure pure strength builds and pure uh, dexterity builds, and also somehow of a quality kind of build uh, with fate and, and intelligence. But that's going to be for another video. For now, this thing that I am placing on screen right now, this is how it should look like on Elden Ring, since in Elden Ring we are not going to have vitality. So as you can see, it allows me to place some more points into strength and dexterity and increase my damage output, not by too much, but enough. Just a little bit. Uh, the more damage that you can get on, on Dark Souls, it's all, uh, on Elden Ring or Dark Souls, Demon Souls, so on and so forth, it's always goddamn amazing. But what I am doing here is essentially, Vitality is no longer present in Elden Ring. <laughs> Which is why this is going to be so damn overpowered and versatile, as you will see right now. And you will have mm, a whole lot of different tools to fight against bosses, PvP, PvE, pretty much everything that you can find in, in front of you. It's going to get, it's it's going to get fucked up. Yeah, quite bad. <laughs> but yeah, strength on Elder Ring. The strength on Elder Ring is going to increase your weight ratio. 
your weight ratio is going to be increased and Elden Ring your equip load is going to be increased by strength. Also, dexterity is going to prevent you to get full damage on Elden Ring. It's also going to <laughs> make you be... Uh, it's going to be harder for the enemy to drop you of your horse to, to get you down from your horse, to hit you down from your horse. Which is quite amazing. And we'll talk about that because of the versatility that these VLs are going to be on Elden Ring. The, the versatility that these beautiful, beautiful things are going to have on Elden Ring. The weapons. As you can see right now, being on soul level 120 does not allow me to have that much of vitality. I would very much like to have to. Because the higher the ratio that I can have on Vitality, the better armor, the heavier armor I am going to be able to use. A little bit more weapons to play around and to toy around. And since Elden Ring is going to be scaling your strength for your weight ratio, your, your strength is going to be scaling your weight ratio, your equip load, you're going to essentially be able to do something like this. If I make this with this build and Dark Souls 3, I'm going to fat grow. This is not efficient, not whatsoever. So if you want to be using these weapons, I like to use these weapons in this kind of build for Dark Souls 3. The problem is that I get messed up real fast because of the stinking enemies come at me while I'm changing my weapons. I'm actually quite fast at moving on my, on my inventory and uh, changing stuff that I want to, to choose. If you have fast fingers, it's actually quite doable, but it would be quite a lot better if you would very much just like make this, have them here, and be able to switch them and use them. Halberd are especially good for PvP, especially this one that has this skill, Perseverance. Swords, long swords, are especially amazingly good for PvE because they allow you to kill enemies fast, small enemies fast, so you can just uh, kill stuff fast and keep moving onward. And then if we move if we move to the claimer, these are especially good for bosses because of the round attack that you have right there, the hitbox is going to be traveling quite a lot, so you have a, a, a whole lot of uh, hitbox space for this thing. So, Halberd is especially good for fighting on a distance. Uh, and yeah, and also, you have your parry shield, which is always amazing to have a parry shield. And you also have a bow on your offhand. <laughs> so as you can see, Elden Ring is going to allow you to have all of these kind of different tools, because your strength is going to be scaling your weight ratio. Another important thing to have in mind, dexterity is going to make enemies uh, make them work a little bit harder to turn you to turn you down from your from to <laughs> to make you fall from your horse, uh, which is something amazing, quite amazing. I should very much like to say. So, this is why this is how a build should look like on Elden Ring. A quality build should look like on Elden Ring. But as you can see, like, I changed a little bit the stats so that it can showcase a little bit more properly. Like I said, on this build I have Vitality, 20 Vitality, because I, I needed to, to properly be using all uh, my normal build. But a quality build is going to leverage the capabilities, it's going to leverage the strength augments uh, and the dexterity augments that you will have on your character, which is going to be amazing. You will have the best from a strength build. You will have uh, usually, normally on Souls games, strength damage only. Strength. The only thing that it does is that it changes your strength based damage on scaling. The same goes for uh, for for dexterity. Now you are going to have the best of both worlds on Elden Ring if you play a quality build, which is going to be the amazing. You will have so much versatility on your playstyle. You will be able to use a whole lot of different weapons. You will be able to use heavier gear. You will be able to fall from long distances 
and be uh, on your horse fighting dragons and not allowing them to, to, uh, to stumble you down from your horse because of the high dexterity that you're going to be having. It's just going to be amazingly good to play dexterity builds on Elden Ring. It's going to be them overpowered and satisfying. Quality builds are one of the most my favorite builds on, on Souls games because they allow you to use such a huge array and variety of weapons that you can use to fight against all of the hazards that you can find in the world of Souls likes. And yes, <laughs> there are quite a lot of hazards that will very much open your cheeks, make you spread your butt cheeks for them uh, in in their in their in your way through through the deadness of those dark places and dungeons and and just like the enemies that you will be fighting. This is going to be amazingly good because of the versatility that will allow you to have high exter uh, high strength and high dexterity. But that is all for today's guys. <laughs> that is all for today's guys. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. Remember that if no one has told you today that you're gorgeous, that you're a gorgeous, beautiful person, then you are indeed a gorgeous, beautiful, beautiful person. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Remember to like the video because it really helps me like you have no idea. And I'll be seeing you just some beautiful people in the next one. Have a beautiful, beautiful day.